Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. What is it with all of these Hollywood types who think that just because they're celebrities that their opinions actually mean something, especially when it comes to foreign policy? That's the subject of our Talking Points memo. Now, earlier this week, a group of C and D list celebrities headed by E list, Mike Farrell, remember him from MASH? Me neither. Anyway, this group calls themselves Artists United to Win Without War, and apparently they think they know more about geopolitics than Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld and National Security Advisor Condoleezza Rice combined. I guess it would be funny if it weren't so sad. But I guarantee you there is one person who is laughing his ass off at all of this, and that is Iraqi madman Saddam Hussein. And speaking of maniacal Arabs, one of the celebrities who joined this dopey group is former DJ Casey Kasem. And also joining the cause was noted military strategist Bonnie Franklin. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you are probably trying to figure out who this woman is. If you guessed a clown, you're right. <laughs> Let's face it, most actresses and actors are well-meaning but stupid people who have never been told their ideas are bad. They've gotten where they are because they're good-looking, unlike me, who is good-looking but also a genius. And now here to provide a different point of view is actress and activist Janine Garofalo. And I suppose I should start by giving you an apology. Why? Well, because I just said that all actresses got where they were because they're good-looking, and that's clearly not the case with you. Now you got your start in comedy. Yes, I do non-traditional stand-up with a satirical edge. Right. Yeah, I've seen your act. It's kind of like comedy without any jokes or anything funny being said. Now, how did you get started in the business? Did you just kind of look at yourself in the mirror one day and realize mm, it's going to have to be comedy? No. Now, I came here to talk about U.S. military policy on Iraq. Okay, great. Let's get to it, because later on we're going to have Donald Rumsfeld in here who's going to tell you how to do a setup and a joke. Go ahead, please. Read a statement from your dopey little group. We feel that military action in Iraq will allow the terrorists to fan the flames. Okay, let me stop you right there. Speaking of flames, a lot of people in Hollywood are gay. And I bet a lot of people that run into you figure you're a lesbian. Not really. As always, we'll let our audience decide. <laughs> anyway, please continue, Ms. Garofalo. You're, you're getting sidetracked. Please. We feel the military action in Iraq will allow the terrorists to fan the flames of anti-American sentiment and will further destabilize the Middle East. <laughs> further destabilize the Middle East? Do you think that's even possible? I mean, that's kind of like saying we find Janine Garofalo even less funny and less attractive. You know? <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I think we're there. Okay. Thanks for coming in and taking the fire. Well, I didn't even get a chance to talk yet. Well, as always on this program, we'd like to give you the last word. Well, and we're out of time. Thank you very much. Janine Garofalo for entering the No Spin Zone. We respect you. You're a good man.